is Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I thought we would do a little look at my 2016 Erin Condren planner and then it occurred to me that why not just expand that a bit more and do a review kind of of what I've got in Erin Condren because I've had a lot of um, covers in particular recently and I haven't really shown you guys I think I've put a couple of pictures of some of them up on my Instagram but I've been a bit naughty and I haven't shared and also just within the last couple of days I have received my stickers that I wanted and had ordered for this year's planner it took me a while to get organized with exactly how I wanted to do it last year I fiddle around with the the planner for a bit and kind of worked out what I wanted so I finally got there and I placed the order so I thought I would share all of that with you so getting started straight away this is this year's planner as you can see I picked what I didn't realize is actually really similar to my first year planner except for this time it was silver here um, and here um, and last time well not last time the time the first year I had it so not last year but the year before it was gold and this lovely pink so I think actually I prefer it with the gold I think the gold with the pink looked better personally but I still really like this and of course now the beauty is that all of this is removable so I don't keep this covers on anyway I change my covers for quite often so I've got this one on at the moment I've still got it on from the new year because I'm just enjoying having the brand new cover and I put the lovely silver band around I really like these silver bands and what I noticed this year as a good thing and it's working really well is that this coil is much bigger I'll see if I can find the previous one. This will, this is actually an address book, but it's still the same um, as the previous planners. And you can see the coiling here is much bigger, and that's so much better because you've got room then to not only um, put stuff in the back without it bulging it open you've actually got room if you wanted to to decorate the pages because I found last year when I even just simply kind of put stickers on each section um, and if you've followed me on Instagram you would have seen those you know I did a sticker on each section of of the page to decorate it up it really bolts it up after you know a year of that because you're basically putting another page on the front and another page on the back so you're sort of multiplying it by at least two times I know it's probably more than that because it's obviously one on each side but you know you're really bulking that up so I kind of think that's a much better thing. This one came with the lovely foiling on the inside. I, now I did go through this so I'm not going to go massively into it. And this is not done how I'm going to be doing it because I didn't have the stickers then. So I'm going to show you the page that started off a little bit better. So I've got some of my stickers here now. And I will show you the actual stickers as well. So I've got here to the water I've got little paw prints scales email that's meant to be I'm also putting in a weather thing because I think it's going to be fun when you look back you know 10 years time 20 years time to think oh yeah you know it's just another detail to add and then I've got just appointment that's for an appointment little box there uh, to do my nails which I've done just did them clear today um to tell me to have the rest of the day off do some shopping um and then this is mostly what it's used for which is editing writing a post to do and I've got these lovely little dots which is basically so I can put one thing that says write or post or edit or whatever it is and then I can do a dot because I want to do three or four things that's writing or editing etc so I don't have to keep putting a sticker that says write and then I've got the film blah 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 so I've got them all in different colours and then I've also got like here instead of putting write I put edit the video and then write the post so I put a little pencil sticker there and then I've got these weekend stickers as well which I've always loved I don't know why but I do um, so it's sort of starting to begin to look 
how you know how it's going to be it's sort of working now how it was before that I didn't really have the stickers so it was kind of okay but it wasn't absolutely how I wanted it but it was nearly there um I just didn't have the colours mostly really because I wanted to try and keep it colour themed in with the month for that month's Erin Condren colour scheme um but you know it, it looked tidy enough and it gave me the space that I needed really I think um the way I was doing it before I just didn't have the space so we did that and then this is really what my monthly layout's going to look like so we've got here just the videos and then the word post and then video again so basically I'm planning I've already planned and you know I have to look at them I've already planned out you know roughly what the videos and the posts will be for February I've actually already started some of them for March as well I try to get well ahead so I know what I'm doing and you can see how that is all colour themed which is really cool and then in the back here I've just used this for just some bits of paper and then just a notepad and a little um, one of those clippy things so if I need to put anything in I can I did have some stickers in here but I've now taken that out and then all I do is I clip a pencil on there and a pen I used to have the pen holder on the back but I found that they just kept the pens kept catching when I did stuff it would just catch because it kind of sticks out a bit so I decided not to do that and now I've got that there. okay so that's kind of this year it's really just a very simple way to look at the uh, you know how I'm setting things out and how I'm using it it's really simplistic just um, little stickers and I've just got the stickers here and my stickers all came from Libby and Co and the current ones and before that it was from scribble prints which is a few left in there and then so basically what i've got is i've got a whole set of these they come i've got two different sets sort of color wise but with the edit film to do even got a relax <laughs> write create post video so I've got a whole heap of those which is great so you can just put those across like I showed you I did then I've got some sort of symbolic ones and then I've got email obviously that's a little pencil tv just in case there's something that I'm like I must watch I'm a bit of a Agatha Christie fiend I love to watch a Agatha Christie film so things like that a shopping bag medication so if I just need to go to the get a prescription or anything I got this as a, um, an umbrella because I thought you know it'd be fun again when you look back just to see little extra details and I thought that something like that say you know I'm feeling under the weather today so that would be that then a running shoe a sort of static bike I can't think what the heck you call that but anyway for exercise because I've got one of those in the house and then I've got a normal bike so just again that's giving me details one is telling me when I'm looking that oh I haven't been on my bike for a couple of days so I need to do it but also again historically I can look back and I just think things like that are fun and so this is the little dots that I showed you they're like little hexagons I, she does them in dots but I thought the hexagons were fun then I got these sort of zigzags again they're a lot thinner than they look because what happens is she has quite a good bleed on them so that you make sure she makes sure that the cut line you know it doesn't have any white on it so that is so that for example another way of separating instead of dots if if I had a list of something I could put this in between one of these in between just to separate the two sort of things so I don't know if I was editing two different things or filming two different things I could just put one sticker that said film put the first thing and then put one of these between it and then the next thing or whatever these are just for writing like appointments in and popping them down so they stand out a little bit more and I love this because it's like the watercolor effect I just thought they're really pretty and these are 
just like a three liner one I quite like I find this quite useful for just like a little mini to do list that perhaps isn't necessarily my blog kind of related so something outside of that so that I want it to pop out a little bit more then this is obviously bills mm -hmm. and then my hydration weekend sticker I got one in pastel one in sort of bright and then day off the best one <laughs> just a little flag there so that's all my stickers and then I've just got a few left over from before oh and I've got the weather ones which I showed you I cut those I cut that up so that I could put one in the back of my planner so I cut it from it had like three parts the same repeated three repeats on one sheet so I cut it into three and then I can pop one piece into my planner ready to put that onto the planner so that's my sticker box and I've still got my box with my washi tapes and all of that if I do want to use it but generally speaking I'm not going to be doing that I'm just going to be setting it out as I showed you so that is kind of how I'm so that's kind of how I'm working the planner now and I think it's it's definitely for me I like that more simple look not having to fiddle about with sort of making it too pretty but it it becomes pretty ish you know it looks okay and I'm trying to sort of reasonably use the right color pens I love these pens these are um, the Pilot G2s they come in all sorts of colours I've run out of quite a lot of them so I'm going to like so at the moment I've had to use the red but it does come with an orange so I would have ideally used orange and this sort of blue colour but it does like normal blue black etc but it has all sorts of colours in them as well and the thing is they do, they write really nicely but they don't go through the, the planner at all so that's really cool but as I say I prefer this more cleaner look to it and I can see exactly what I'm doing etc and then there's a few extra bits for posterity just to look back in and it will give me information that will make me just go oh yeah look it was raining that day again <laughs> so that is that so these are the other books that I've got just to show you I've got here the address book do you know I'm terrible I still have not completed filling this in it's just so many other things to do that I've never gotten around to finishing this yet but anyway it's a really nice address book and what I've done is sort of used it to put um, sort of business contacts in and stuff and I've left when I got it it was not a removable cover so this cover is what it is but I really like it anyway um, so I'm not bothered about that and I just put the silver around again so that's my address book this is my yeah this is a removable cover this is like just a notebook that I got and I really love this cover I love this colour this is uh, cornflower blue and I use this just I've got here some of those little sticky things and I use it for designing putting my design ideas in and just basically sketching stuff out and writing details and step by steps and things so that's what that's for so that's kind of just sketches those ideas out I never changed the cover on this one even though I could this is like the book and it by keeping the cover the same I can see it at a glance I know what I'm doing and it's in my head as that this is the only larger book that, notebook that I had this was one that, that um, Aaron Condren sent me when they originally set, put these out and I really like it and I did get some covers with it which I'll show you that, um, originally but I didn't like actually what I picked in the end so I finally found one and I sort of got one just recently which is this one that I really like and I like those lovely rainbow colours and what I use it for here is like videos so there's a list of videos that I'm planning 
have done, haven't done, and when they've done, I've crossed them out, etc. So I'm ticking them when I've maybe filmed them, but I haven't edited them. So it's kind of a, a thought process. So if something comes in my head as an idea, it's there. Then we've got projects. In projects, we've got things like my cricket classroom lessons with uh, my silhouette seminar etc um as we've only just started the cricket classroom i haven't put that across yet from i put it in my computer but not in here for some reason and then we've got a list of to do's which i sort of i have ripped i originally was ripping out some pages but i'm not going to do that anymore i'm just going to leave them in there so when it's done it's cross through because otherwise it just looks like you never have any to do so that's that and I think that's really cool um, so on to the covers this is the covers for the large ones these are actually the inner dividers that I got originally and I changed that that it was just those two I think and I changed those up it then um one occasion I got this sent, I ordered this um, cover but in the small and they sent it to me in the large. So if I use this on the back and that way around, that would actually go over on the on that book and you'd never really see that inside piece that says my planner so it doesn't really matter. And that was the original cover on that large book. So I like it. I really do but it, I prefer the brighter colour and then I tried this one and I, again I liked it but it the contrast wasn't quite how I expected it to be so it wasn't perhaps my best combination so that was my larger covers and then just recently I'd got some smaller covers and um, some more of the smaller covers uh, which I think I showed you already but just quickly going through I've got a lot of covers now they just seem to have collected them up so these this one here I've got two apparently very similar because again I ordered this and they sent that so then they had to redo it so I ended up with two very similar but I love that writing but they don't do that anymore that writing I don't know anyway then I've got this lovely gorgeous yellow I, as you see I like that pattern Again, I don't know if they, they do do that pattern, but it's very slightly different now. And this is another one that I love. I love that green. This is the lime green. And then this, I when I saw this, I wasn't sure, but when I put it on with the peachy um, band, it looked so pretty. I really like that in the end. And again, the same with this one. I didn't like it when I saw it. But when I put it on, it looks so pretty. And then that is, actually, I said this, this, sorry, this, this is what I ordered. And that was what I got. Then they sent it again, and I got that. And eventually they sent it again, and I got what I ordered, which was that. <laughs> and I think that's so pretty. So we got there in the end with it. Then this is just um, that cover that you saw that's on my um, address book. So this matches that. So I could have like a little set that all come together. And then that's that one. I love this dots. Party Pops in the black. And then we've got here, I think you've seen this one before. This is a custom cover. So I just found that design and then I added in my name you can't add the name like you do on here it doesn't have a box so you have to put it in the picture if you want to put your name on it so when you send the image it has to include that so then there's this one this is the one I used actually at Christmas and with the silver band it was so icy and Christmassy it was really nice this is probably one of my favorites I really love this and I love the fact that the inside is the reverse so I really like that um, I can't remember the colours, I'm sorry. Then this was the Valentine's one from last year. Actually, I need to put that on soon, don't I? Let's get that out. Um, and then another Party Pops, but in black and white this time. This is some of the new ones now. I think I did show you these, but I can't remember. So this is Lovely Butterflies. I think they're so pretty. I haven't used these ones yet. My Little Baby. 
and then on the back when she was, was a little baby yeah I definitely haven't used these yet this one when I received it originally it was damaged so I had that redone and I love it I think it's so pretty and then that's that same one again but this is in like a lavender colour which I think is such a pretty colour so that is all my covers so that is just a a quick sort of update on my Erin Condren and what I'm doing with it now, how I'm working with it and also the gazillion different covers that I've got now. I don't think I need any more. Um, so I <laughs> hope you've enjoyed just having a quick look at, probably not that quick actually, having a look at all of this and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>